The Concordia Language Villages held their second International Day of the Year, and this time they were joined by a U.S. Senator. Reporter Sherelle Moore tells us about the festivities for this week's In Focus. International Day at Concordia Language Village started off with a show of dance and dozens of flags waving proudly in the air. For Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar, being back at the village is extra special. Her daughter was once on this stage as a member of the French Village. She really enjoyed it and she went on to do a lot with French. She ended up um, a summer in France and becoming really fluent in France and I don't think it would have happened if she hadn't gone here. Villagers at Concordia basically eat, sleep and breathe their chosen one of the 15 different languages offered. Day to day we have classes and we sing a lot of songs. Uh, that's where I learned most of my Swedish from. What I like about it is just everyone's so like nice and the environment is great and you make great friends. Whether you say ciao, konnichiwa, marhaban, hola, or it's simply just hello. International Day at Concordia Language Village is a chance for all the villagers to come together. You get to know all the other camps here. So you have more than just more than EK, you have the German camp, the Spanish camp, the French camp. It's really, really fun to see how everything just seems to mesh together, how everyone just seems to come together to share the same passion. Everyone is a part of the parade, but there's also a World Cup style soccer tournament, games, and lots of things your taste buds will enjoy. My favorite part about International Day would have to be all of the different foods. After reflecting on the evening, the senator says it's important to remember there's other countries outside of our borders, and it never hurts to enrich yourself. These students are going to be ambassadors to the world for us, and they do that by coming to a place like this. Reporting in Bemidji with this week's In Focus, Shaw Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.